blessings before this wonderful message from my father in the lord late archbishop bensi idaosa i'd like to share information about anointedtube.com with you the number one christian video sharing website today anointedtube.com this is a powerful site believed to be the top most Christian video sharing website in the world today. It is ranked as one of the best video sharing website according to available data. It hosts videos of preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from all around the world. You can as well share our video on all social media platforms. The World Database of Christian Precious, positively touching and changing lives around the world. It is a great Christian video sharing website. The Lord bless you. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now.
You cannot have freedom because only truth can make somebody free. I asked this young man to come. Where is he? Come. Where's your fleet? If I gave you that instrument to play, and I think it's not lost. Where's your fleet? Eh? Go home and bring it quick. Wherever you live. Somebody tell him give him money to go. Out. It's for the service, not for your house. For example, stand up uh, forever. Near yeah, right. This is our bishop's son in Wari, Bishop Abumapa. He plays this instrument. Inside this keyboard, if he plays it with meaning, houses and cars are inside there. One successful album, one, one successful musical album that can hit a record can give him all he needs for the rest of his life. Phil Disco makes millions of dollars every year from trumpet. Many people who pursue a profession with accurate meaning make a living without suffering. If he will improve on it and grow in it and make it a professional thing added to his university education, he can brag in performances and staging concerts. For the rest of his life, when he finally gets married, his wife and children will never suffer through that small instrument if he put his eyes on it. The flute boy that I was saying just now, if he really gives himself training in playing that instrument and finally arrange for people like us and the rest who are professional musicians in action but other training. I, I, come on, sir. Maybe they are not they just think you play guitar and that is your life. He's graduating end of this year. Is a special optometrist, an ophthalmologist, who sees to the eye. He can pull eye out and put it on the table, repair it and put it back. <laughs> He's playing guitar. You are calling him guitar boy here. That's how you'll be watching him. Playing that instrument to worship God satisfactorily, yet pursuing his training to make a living. When you are in a church where your pastor is a Dundee. All he will train you to do is to clap and sing and pray. But when you are with somebody with like me with sound mind, <laughs> an excellent spirit, and another spirit, I tell you that unless you diversify yourself, you'll be entrapped. Each one of us is giving brain with millions of cells inside. Yes. And it is said that no one single human being is able to tap to 10% of the totality of the wisdom of God given to everyone. I'm not sure I've tapped that 5% of all mine. Yet, never mind about light, I told you how to cast out darkness is by buying diesel. Now, if you are in the church <clears throat> and all you come here to do
something you got. Two years now, I've been telling us then. The gift you have is enough to carry you for the rest of your life. Get the choir to give you backing. Get the Christian to give you backing. Make what we call the best of the best of us in it. Anywhere we go in this country, they will rush your cassette. At 100 Naira, if you, if you make 1,000 tapes, at 100 Naira, how many people know what that one would be? 100,000. If you make 2,000 tapes at 100 Naira, you make 200,000. And it will not be enough to sell in five meetings. Money is just around you. But your cells are captured in redundancy. And you are praying. Our Father. Yeah. God is hearing, but your brain is not responding. And until your brain bow to your dullness. I mean, your dullness bow to your brilliancy. You continue to struggle as if your prayer is not answered. I'm here with you. I am not envious of your success. I'm not jealous of your upward life. But you have yourself to blame. If of all I teach, you end up in bankruptcy. Not because God didn't favor you or I didn't teach you truth. It's just that your IQ was zero outside zero. And from tonight, you are to be anointed for the spirit of excellence and wisdom. Amen. So that what God says will come to pass. Amen. These ones who say, the what are you studying? Come here. And Victor, you and Hussein, I'll give you one month to produce your own album. One month. Not, I will sponsor the cost of it. What are you reading? English major. English major, final year. The people you see here singing and singing, don't allow her to give anybody a microphone if it's not promising God's future. Not one. If you cannot go to school because you can't go to school because of money, I sponsor you. Most of them are all on scholarship. To graduate and have a better future, the tie this one will be paid very soon, and this one will be more than the school fees I'm paying for them now. I'm showing ahead of time. I'm not a fool, I'm showing I know what I'm doing. Do you hear me? But this is the time they need help. You are hearing what I'm saying? I'm planting. Give me the basket I brought there. I'm sowing the seed. I hope you are following my message. All right. Out of this corn, one, what will you call this in uh, Dr. Corn cup. If you take this and clear a properly nourished ground, you can harvest three baskets full. Big bowls, basins, and bowls of fresh corn in four months. Out of this one. Are you hearing me? Every farmer that takes a corn like this and bless it and go to farm, cut the grass, till the ground, give it little fertilizer. Of course, you know that the corn of this, they don't suffer like the corn of those days. The corn you plant nowadays, you can tell when this can be eaten. In those days, corn, that you have to wait to... until you go, go, Before you think corn is going to come out. These days, in America now, there's a new method of corn. Must not be more than three feet. And each is allowed. I mean, each of them can bring at least Four like this, each one, three feet, two on this side, two on this side, full, all nourishing. In Benin Parable, it was said of Kakweriako, go and find out, agriculture has changed it. You can plant it now and eat it. 
All those Dundee Gaku teachings you inherited traditionally and by tribalistic uh, uh, effort, you have to bury them to enter Christianity in reality. Out of this basket of God. From this one orange, this one, if the seeds here are taken out, dried, and planted, Three years from now, and of course this is a special orange from Israel, is 15 months to start to produce. One year and three months. You can start to harvest it. It's in my compound, it's plenty there. This afternoon I was telling the children that came to visit me, corn is in this compound, coconut is in this compound, papua is in this compound, mango is in this compound. Every fruit you can think of, only few out of season will buy. All other ones are within my company. Creativity with great objectivity can, de 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 can, de can detach you from poverty list. Share the, uh, share the uh, orange with your people and return the count over there. Proverbs. Chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3. How many of you are glad to be children of God? Open your mouth and say, Ah. Verse 13. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. Let me tell you my interpretation of understanding. Apart I come here. Uh, uh, where's the rich, my little pastor? Come. Stand there. Come on. Pastor, come for you. Otherwise known as Mr. Praise. This one. House. Yes or no? Yes. But where is he now? Standing. Is he standing or sitting down? Standing. He's under, but he's standing. He's <laughs> under. <laughs> put your hand here. But I put your hand on top of my own. Is he below our hand? Yes. Is he lying down? Even though it's all that, what is he doing? <laughs> One day, you will discover, no matter how low you are, if your face stands, your mind will never bow. Get understanding. Get wisdom. That's what the Bible is encouraging you tonight. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. Did you hear that? Wisdom provides you quicker results than lottery and plan well. That's what he's saying here. Men who don't know the God they serve try lottery. The district governor of Michigan State was holding seminar with all the counselors of the state. Two months ago. And he gave them a breakdown of every lottery that had been encouraged to come to the state of Michigan. He proved to all of them and pastors were there, like Gilbert and his dear wife, Bishop Coletta, who gave me this report. That until they make 30 million, nobody wins 1 million. <laughs> so, for every 10 million that they give as big price times 30, 300 million before they give 10 million. So, if you are playing lottery, only one smile 
why the rest cry. But if all of us apply wisdom, all of us can smile together. Look at verse 13 and 14 again. Happy is the man. Say, I will be happy. happy. Say it again. So, oh, you know what happiness brings? It brings happiness. Daily happiness. Gives happiness. When you look at your health, healthy, look at your life, effectively successful, you are happy. Nobody says, no programmer will say, gee. Chee, come on, try, try, hold it for one minute, all right? Chee, 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 uh -huh. oh, oh, it's too wide, close it a bit. <laughs> Photographer does not detect the content of your heart. And when there's contentment, there's no controversy. Happy, happy, hilarious, successful, Joyful is a man who findeth wisdom. And the good news is that you don't search too much. The Bible says it is God's will to give all of us wisdom. Do you hear me? Hear this? And the man that getteth understanding for the make for the merchandise of it. In English and Rodanda, to be a merchandise will mean what? Trading or something. Trading or something. A man that has wisdom can make many businesses out of it. That's what he says. <laughs> the lucrativeness, that's what the Bible says here. The after all profit of the gift of wisdom, he says, better than for Smith's own. Look at it. And it's more than the one who sells silver. Because you can crawl from one aspect to the other. Go to my office and talk to Erosa. Tell him to bring the files of the letters that come into this country. Every wealthy aspect of this country. Banking, medicine, law, everything. When they have anything special to do, my name is one of the first in the list. They want to see me. It's the same Bible you are carrying that I'm carrying, but unless I open my own. Some of you, like that one that, did, that didn't bring his loot to church now. Can you imagine if we were to hear that? That he came to church, he didn't bring the flute. He will not be angry because he gave it to him. He will not be angry that he was given to him for use. And the head that God has given to all of you, he put brain inside. And I can see your neck complaining. What am I carrying you for? <laughs> a big head without brain is a heavy load to the neck. Where's the editor? Editor of Idaosa Magazine, raise your hand. Are you there? Change the word to 1001. You understand? We we'll give brain to change it to 1,001 stains of Idahosa. The book will be out next week. 1,000 stains of Idahosa. 1,000. Faith is the actualizing of your inner belief or the exercise of what you believe. And each one of us have the destiny of God with us because we are all held with Christ and joined here with God. So nobody can say, because my family is poor, I am automatically poor. It's a lie of the devil. And it's from the pit of hell. The day you were born again and circumcised in faith by baptism, the old Adamic nature in you was shut from you. And now you are a new creation. Yeah. Can I hear you say amen? Yeah. Many meetings in this town that the house are family hold, they don't call me because they know it's not what I can attend. But if there's anything good in this town, president is coming, swelling in of commissioners, swelling in of churches, and name it. 
When they list the VIPs and the four kingmakers of this town, I'm one of them. Political kingmakers, decisive too. You ignore me, you ignore success. The career that I choose is not a cost to my life. I did my best with it to put God's name in Walmart. You cannot take a shield because you are a Christian. That's why you don't take pride. That's why pride will bridge your future or relegate you. But clear wisdom can improve your loss. Is anybody hearing me? May I ask you all to combine together and read me verse 14. Proverbs 3.14, read it very loud. One to go. Did you hear? And the gate inside is more than fine gold. And you walk less than the blacksmith knocking his hand. And the goldsmith and the silversmith. You won't bring on him that day. Verse 15. She's more precious than rubies. And all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Somebody should say big amen. amen. Anything else that is effortful in life to be fruitful cannot be compared with the gift of wisdom. The Bible says the principal thing. Each of us needs it. Verse 16. Let your days is in her right hand. And in her left hand, riches and honor. Get up and say, God, give me this thing I'm asking now. Oh, on my left and right. Oh, you see, on your right is long life. And on your left hand is what? Riches and honor. Do you hear me? Yes. It's there. Bishop Reed was here in June. How many of you were aware? And in the convention, one of the evening, I asked one of you to thank him for me publicly because he made the announcement that he was going home to go and buy me a car. That's the car that I'm arrived. Paid to be delivered to my house. Nobody will ask you to meet me in England and buy a car and ship it to your house. Come and choose your own if you are a Dundee. That's why the Bible says, by the mouth of Christ, to him that has much shall be given to him. And the little that the poor man has shall be taken and added. <laughs> Do you hear me? You are in a school here. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers' pictures 
click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. until I came in contact and I removed him out of that. How much more you by my nose and eye? Find out in this country from Cairo to Karabakh in the continent of Africa, 73% of successful ministers are my product or products of my product. Then you are sitting by me here. Every word I throw drops to your head but your brain refuses. And this anointing will take you from that country. Take your seat. Verse 17. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. May I say this? Yes, go to school, beautiful. Half degree, beautiful. Third degree, second degree, master, master of business administration, MBA. You pursue, you obtain all these degrees. Not there. Before I stop away by the junction. Go to court now, I say, nobody is brief. Think that they used to charge 50,000. Because there's no case. You slap me on the left, I turn right, and I say, don't be I follow you. It's when I tear your shirt, you tear my own. Then we go and tell police. Police is the one who brought the biggest pride as the plaintiff. You understand his name? <laughs> that one is the Many plaintiffs <laughs> are smart people. Plaintiff. They are smart people. Thank you very much. But now they are the accused, which is called the defendant. The grace in my life will exceed that of the God of my I'm here to say to you, you are near to the road where you cannot fail anymore. Amen. And you are there. The two people I have to prepare their song now with the backing of the choir. Every day they say 50% will be my own. Amen. I mean, to do. I didn't say you can. I already know what I can make out of that. All the same, I was. You know me. Why anointing? 50% for you, 50% for me. How many of you agree I should do that? Each of you can buy a car in less than three months if you can do what I say. Wisdom, say that to everybody. Wisdom. It's a place of our thing. I gave you illustration here some time ago. Influential man, intelligent man, and financial. This one knows everybody in town. Wisdom of business. Influential, no cash. Cash. No wisdom. Put to your wisdom, take your wisdom, put to his influence. I give an associate. Praise the Lord through Christ. Yes. First, I was there yesterday on our way to university. 90% of people who supply granite and sand to CFU are unbelievers. 
three years ago, one person supplied us a block of 16 million. 16 million a year for block. Some believe I will do. That's the way. It's a ba 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 ba. It's a ba la la la. What do you know is about it? Okay. Unbelievers. Sam, the lady who taught me standard three, came to ask for 50 trips of sand. And I said, what, what will sand profit you? He said, if I supply 50 trips of sand, I'll make 200 by trip. Times it. In the opening market, some beat you from morning till night again. What is the price of sand? They come to me, they say, I want to supply sand, but give me money to do it. <laughs> I can own believer for a month before I, for Christian will ask me money to do it. How will I give it to you who is asking me money to do it? When the unbeliever is borrowing money. You see the mathematics? Mr. Wisdom and Rich and Influential. Gender! Share it! Wisdom. Verse 18. She's a tree of life. Then that lay hold upon her, and every one that regenerated her had found it by understanding that devil. Somebody that anoint you and continue with bad tomorrow. But to tomorrow. How many women are here tonight who were the anointing today? Stand to your feet. Mama said, I should tell you from where she is. She's with you. Amen. She has told me to join you in this service tomorrow. I will be there. I said I will be there with you. Something different will happen in your life this year. You will be. Any name you were called ugly, the same people in that talk on your behalf. It's your year. Pastors, lift your head up. Lift church on earth. First level, this is not all of us. We can finish by 11.30. I will have finished. I have part two of what I taught you today to teach you again tomorrow. Then you'll be anointed also. Take your seat. It's your year of goodness and mercy. Yeah. Yeah. Number chapter 8. Instruction. Knowledge. Rather than go. Fish. You fed him for a day, the rest of his life. Many of you are looking for the immediate. Short. For now. Pray up ahead of shedding. There's what is called immediate plan. Future plan. And short term. And wisdom of life. It will soon be over. Yeah. Think of how much the first Mercedes Benz cost. Think of what first Mercedes 280 that the woman with God in Toronto gave me cost 7,800. Mercedes 280. That is now less than one tire and less than the real light. Time has changed. The mother Mercedes is children's children are not suffering. The bicycle, when we were using bicycle in this time, we know how much bicycle costs. Some shillings, some pounds. I think bicycle is almost 5,000 naira now. Huh? I'm talking about real bicycle. It's 40 something thousand for white rally. So far, bicycle. A person who bicycle is coming. You hear me? Team with Bedouin machine. Do you know what I did the research? This trip I went to. How many drink cost seven of you know? What I mix seven of If you know it, raise your hand. I was in the town of the man who found the seven of last week. He said, You know why it's called seven of? He tried six minutes up. <laughs> and up. That's why the drink came to become seven. 
I was in the town last week. Road to success had bruises and many times tongues and Jesus. But he that then drove to the end. The same shall be said. Oh yes. You know it's difficult to climb. But when you get to where you are going, you balance up. You also know that when you are ready to drive, two not people carry the steering. So help. Mm. When you want to enter. Mm. Mm. But after you have your finger. Yes. <laughs> sometimes you wave to people so that they can know you are the one person. <laughs> but I learned how to drive. Do you greet anybody when they greet you? <laughs> Therefore, though the road may have a pain, that's not the only tree. Yes. They come. Up with it, and you find the path. Don't cut the road bend at the end of the tree. I followed what is, when this ministry started. I wouldn't be here tonight. Andrew, you can tell that. We used to sleep ACC campground in Irua. Primary school Sabogidaora were my beds. All the blue sky were my canopies. And the wooden stage. And plank on top of drum was my platform. It didn't stop where I was going. Even when I, I got strained, I did stray. Today, mention the name of living ministers. I'm among them. How? I refused to bow when I was forced to suffer. Forced to suffer. Wisdom tells you it's right be need tomorrow. Amen. And I have the divine audacity to tell you your end of suffering is very close. Amen. If you can follow my teaching. And if you follow God in the way he's calling you, you'll find out one day that the step of the righteous man is ordered by God. Are you hearing me? I say, are you hearing me? Yes. Dr. Pata, stand up. You're a medical doctor, consultant. This time last year, where were you? Where were you staying in Benin? Um, Uwasota, Uwasota Street. A very bad area. Yes, you have some friends who came to salute you there many times. Yes, <laughs> at least two times. At least two times. <laughs> where do you live now? In a wonderful place in Tiare. When I was building that house, I didn't know he was going to live there. I feel in that house, that land came to me through Mrs. Jarike. May you live forever, Jarike. <laughs> One of the few things he did for me in this land. Anytime she found anything good, she'll come and run and ask me first, will you buy it? I bought that land, peanuts, copper. I built that house in nine weeks. When they removed Obada from being governor, I gave him the key of that house. Now Obada has traveled. Telephone, water. Everything inside, lights, everything, constant. Governor's house on the left, Apartheid's house on the right. AIG on the left, Apartheid on the right. Commissioner on the left, Apartheid on the right. Living there free of charge. And I hope you are using the phone. <laughs> when your partner were going to leave, I said, My son will move to that house. I gave it to you. You should give it to me, man. No rent, nothing whatsoever. Dog is there, watch night is there, everything paid for. Your life. I believe this message is blessing you. Please visit and share videos on anointedtube.com, the world database of Christian preachers, to help us reach 100 million people. The message continues after this video about Anointed Tube. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there. 
This is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Dr. Fessler, I've been away three days. 
Was the school closed when you travel? There's a nearly 4,000 students go on holiday because you travel. Do they ever go to holiday because I'm traveling? Anybody know what of it that I'm traveling? Except those who are in the house. I greet them before I go and I greet them when I come. All the rest. Some say that is out or something. In December, what of it? I don't know every student here, but every student know me. Are you hearing me? Be faithful. Be faithful. Start something that may be small today. Every small seed has great harvest behind it. Every small seed. There's a big harvest. That's what I'm teaching you this time. There's a big harvest. Oh, for every mango tree, there are millions of mango fruits. For every orange tree, there are millions of orange juice inside. Tons of them. But if you just leave it and do nothing. I told uh, one of our pastors from Benin to my uncle's house at the market where I planted orange in 1952. One day, three years ago, the orange is still standing. I think very good. What's that fire? Breeze windows. Students, all nations. Russia and London, I told you. Here now. All nations rush inside the place. Russia. Church also. We should always be locking this thing. Father, we ask that the tempest cease. And we thank you for it to be over. In Jesus' name. Amen. We need rain. I hope you know that. I say we need rain. I hope you know that. We can't find rain, but we are just in no disruption to property. All right. One pass so we can. Are you being blessed by what you are hearing? Will you still put your head in the fridge? Verse 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Somebody say amen. amen. So nobody tell you don't smoke, don't drink. If you fear God, automatically you hate evil. Pride and arrogance and evil way and the fraudward mouth do I hate. I will explain that next time. Cancel is mine and sound wisdom. I'm understanding and I have strength. By me, kings reign. And princes decree, and by me, prince rule, and nobles, even all the judges. Somebody shout hallelujah. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me, yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I live in the way of righteousness. In the midst of the path of judgment. Praise God. Hallelujah. I say praise God. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet. I see men and women in this unusual year of unusual miracle. Amen. God will not only meet you at the point of your need, but will meet you ahead of shedding. Amen. Put your right hand on your forehead. I say, put your right hand. Forget any other thing, sister. Forget about the wind. Forget about the rain. Focus your life here. Open your mouth and bless your destiny. You have a part to play. It is God's will for you to prosper and be faithful. And also be faithful. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, 
prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Idausa is my father. My first encounter with uh, Archbishop Idausa, he was doing a big crusade uh, in the center of Accra, which is called Circle. He said, if your faith say yes, God cannot say no. Idausa is a man that believe with God, all things are possible. He had an unwavering faith. He had an unshaking faith. He had an unbreaking faith. He had faith in God. He saw God as he's talking to a faithful father. He saw God like his son will see a father who he trusts that is faithful. Whatever I ask my daddy to do, he will do it. That was a Dowser's level of faith, beyond mass uh, explanation. He had faith. Spiritual, a person, yet he was so human in nature. A man who reached out to everyone, the high, and the law in society. A man who rubs shoulders with presidents and the highest of dignitaries you can think of in society. I feel very blessed because the Lord has called me to preach the word of God in Africa and particularly in Nigeria. Um, I've been here with my husband 40 years now. It, it's a blessing. And it's particularly been a blessing to work with Papa Idahosa and Mama Idahosa. When you talk about legacy, I remember traveling with Archbishop Idahosa to Kaduna for the consecration of Bishop Oyedepo. 
I think it's Faith Liberation Chapel. I remember it as if it is today. And the uh, Archbishop said, we are going. And when we got to Benin Airport, uh, Okada, uh, that's chief, Igbinidion had given him an aircraft. So we flew from Benin City Airport to Kaduna. And I carried, and it was there he told, in the preach, he said, this is my son. At the point, at that time, I didn't really know Bishop Edipo. This must have been early in the 80s or something. And then many, a couple of weeks after, Bishop Edipo came to Church of God Mission Sunday evening service. And I remember the first message he preached. It was on the prodigal son. The man brought me out from the dungeon. Papa Idahosa was, he was a man full of energy and vision. Uh, he, he, he was always getting moving on from one project to another and often when he started a new project we whites we or we boys, would say why is he doing that we couldn't see the vision at all we thought hmm, this is very funny but then sometime later we would realize oh yes okay i see why he's done that now and i was a muslim that i gave my life to christ in Ghana, there was this kind of freedom of worship. There were a lot of Muslims. And among those people that were the grace of God, I gave my life to Christ. And I wanted to go to Bible school when I felt the call of God upon my life. And unfortunately for me, at that particular time, with the Assemblies of God Ghana, there was no space for women to go to Bible school. So my pastor called me and said, he wants me to go to Nigeria and meet with Indahosa because there is a room in that particular ministry for women. And I traveled to Nigeria by the grace of God. On getting there, I met with the Archbishop, my first time of meeting the Archbishop Indahosa of Church of God Mission International. What an awesome privilege it was to see this man of faith and boldness. I will never forget the Onitsha Crusade. At that time, the head of state in Nigeria had passed the law that nobody should do open air crusades. And Archbishop said he went to pray and said, God, and God, what they are saying, and God asked him, what do you want? He said, I want to do crusade. God said, go ahead and do your crusade. So he sent us, I was part of the uh, advanced team to go and paste posters all over Onitsha. And we went to put posters all over Onitsha. And the first day of the crusade, a truckload of soldiers came. The man of faith, the man of prayer, the man of courage, the man of peace. And Archbishop mounted the platform and, and the soldiers came with their guns. When Archbishop started preaching, they all put their guns down. When he made the altar call, they all raised their hands to receive Jesus as Lord and personal savior. And we stood there and the whole crusade was an eye-opener for us. And right there, I decided I needed to go and know more from this man. Fortunately, he was offering scholarship for people who want to attend Bible school in Benin, All Nation for Christ Bible Institute. And so that particular year, I uh, requested, I wrote, and fortunately, I was invited to come, so uh, we went to Nigeria to begin. Uh, my class, actually I went there in 79, my class started in 1980, and uh, we went through the Bible training, and it was powerful. We were all charged up. He started uh, the Word of Faith schools, he started the Christian Hospital, Faith Mediplex, he started Benson Idahosa University, all those. And well, he's, he's a man we can't, we can't forget. He was a great example to us, and I thank God. It's particularly good for us, whites, British, because in Britain, uh, people are rather skeptical these days. 
you'll not find many people who are really born again Christians. Um, people of faith are few in Britain, but if we can come here and our faith can be uh, increased, can be inspired, particularly by the things that Papa did, we are blessed. Let me share this. And I think for those who were around in Church of God Mission at that time, we traveled to Washington for Jesus. John Geminis went to Baltimore, flew to New York, and then flew to Lagos on Nigeria with 11 hours. And then we took Okada from, Okada Air from Lagos to Benin City. It was bad weather. Brother, it was one turbulence I, I told God, as long as I'm alive, never let me face anything like this again in my travel. I'm sure Dausa and the wife Margaret were in the first class, which is only divided by a kettle because it's a 90 seater plane. And we took off from Lagos to Benin. It was bad weather, raining cats and dogs. We rented a storm. There were Filipino pilots. And then they said that he has lost contact. The pilot said, listen, he has lost contact with Lagos. And so he doesn't know where he is. That is ridiculous. You are supposed to be taking us to Benin. So if you, the pilot, has lost contact and you don't know where you are and it's raining cats and dogs, what do you want us to do? And when I looked through the wood, brother, I was sitting at the edge of my seat like this. I was shaking in my boots. I'd never been scared like that. I thought I was, I, it, it was a life and death situation. The plane would lose, dive, turn left, turn right. When I looked through the curtain, I was looking at the reaction of the Abishoy sure Dausa. He would say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And then one time he stood up in the aircraft, lifted his hand. I will never forget. He said, God, this is what he said. God, you called me and you didn't say I would die in a plane crash. My mission is not finished. My assignment is not over. We call the enemy to order and command the devil to back off. Now you pilot, you better find out where you are and take us to our destination in the name of Jesus. And he sat down. Five minutes time, the pilot said, he has made contact with Port Harcourt. Listen to this. We are supposed to be doing 30 minutes from Lagos to Benin. And the pilot, we, we landed in Port Harcourt. So we, were on the, we have lost our way. We would have ended up in the sea. I will never forget. We landed in Lagos. It was still raining. That is where the testimony is. Mama, if was there, you can ask her. I told Papa, can I please go for bus? Because I was afraid. Can we get a bus so we go to Benin? He said, no. James, you don't travel like I do. I must conquer the devil today in the air. I said, what is this? <laughs> I was scared. I said, Papa, you want us to die? He said, James, if I don't conquer the devil, I will not be able to travel by air. Okada gave us his gold-plated aircraft. Chief Benidion, he called him. The plane rolled out from the hangar and we went by air to Benin. And that Sunday evening, he made me go to church and give a testimony. He said, Ghana boy. He calls me Ghana boy. I came and said, give them your testimony. You coward. <laughs> Another powerful miracle was when the witches in the whole world decided to come and have a meeting in Benin City. And Archbishop said, not when he's here. There won't be any such meeting. The chief priest then was summoned. His name, Chief Eboho, because he was a representative of the witches then. And he said, the meeting, nobody, not even God could stop the witches from meeting. Then daddy said, or papa said, Yes, God will not waste his time to stop you because I'm here to stop you. God has put me here to stop you. And guess what? That meeting never took place in Benin City. When you are with him one-on-one, -on -one, you will feel an aura that defies definition. You know, it's as if you are in the presence of God, of a deity, of something that is beyond where you are. You know, uh, he never 
celebrated mediocrity. He never took no for an answer. He dared to go where nobody wants to go or everybody feared to go. He was a man that believed in venturing where others fear to venture. He was a trailblazer. I remember those days, for example, this television ministry that's becoming anything today. It also started it in 1974-75. I'm honored to have been one of his sons. And uh, by the grace of God, I think that um, that sign wonder anointing and his boldness. I was I did a meeting for Dr. Maurice Serrillo in 2010. And just before I spoke in his world conference, they said, uh, oh, miracles don't happen in America because they have a lot of doctors. It happens in the third world. Well, when I took the microphone, I just shared my testimony. 23 cripples gave me the Aztecs and began to walk. Um, that kind of boldness to decree and declare, I took it from the late Archbishop. I believe in the transference of spirits, and I believe strongly, like God told Moses, I will take up the spirit that is upon you, and I will put it upon the 70. I'm one of the people who took of that spirit of signs and wonders from the Archbishop. Making a movie of the Archbishop will really, really help the next generation. Because the young preachers and the young ministers that are coming up have no clue of who he was. It, I mean, he will still be preaching and cripples will start walking. Um, that was an awesome man of faith. I remember whilst we were in school, he went to visit and it was shown on TV. Um, he went to visit Kenneth Copeland. And when he got there, they, he was supposed to have gone the previous day, but he arrived late. So they announced, when they announced that the Archbishop Idahosa has arrived, six cripples got out of their wheelchairs. That is how anointed uh, Papa was. We must keep his legacy alive. Idahosa is dead to some people, but to us, to me, Idahosa lives. Hello, I am Bishop Margaret Benson Idahosa, the wife of the late Archbishop Benson Idahosa that did wonders while he was on earth here. Early in the morning when I rise, I will lift up my eyes. Now let me let you know how I got to meet him. You know, in those early years, he used to ride his bicycle with some trucks going from street to street, and one of it was my street. And every time he comes, we call him pastor. Pastor, he was young then, about 21 or 22. He was very, very young, but he didn't mind. He was not ashamed of the gospel because he knew that that was the power of God in his life. And one of these days he was riding past and people were crying in my house. <laughs> and he just stopped, brought his, brought his uh, small little Bible out and came in, just uh, uh, with it through the crowd. And he came and I said, Pastor, please, today is not like any other day. Somebody just died. He say, ah, I have been riding my bicycle all through. Oh, 
till this time it was about four o'clock. And I want to raise somebody. I say, he, please, I beg you. Don't, don't make a mockery of your God. He said, no, 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 no. I want to wake him up because God has told me in the book. Then he opened the book and read it that, uh, uh, Behold, I have given you power to tread upon serpent, to tread upon scorpions, and to raise the dead. And I said, listen, don't make a mockery of yourself. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal that sin. Raise the dead! I said what? I beg, when can I talk? Again? Again, again! Hey! Benson. You mean what you say that we can raise dead person? Yes, absolutely. Have you raised dead person before? Uh, no. Why? What you say I can do it? Yes. In the name of Jesus. Hey. He said, no, 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 come and show me where the baby was. So I said, okay. I took him to the room where the baby was lying. It, it was, she, she was about uh, three years old, three or four, four years old then. And I said, listen. This baby died at about nine, and it's about four o'clock now. The baby is already changing color. The why why he why she was not being buried at this time is that the father has to go to the secretariat to get a death certificate, and he said, "Oh, there's no need for that now. Let's do it. Let's do it." I said, "How? How are you going to do it?" And he said, "Okay, go out if you don't want to see see me do it." But you know. As a stubborn child, then I stood at the I stood at the door. I stood at the door with my back laid at the door. One, one eye on this side and one eye on the front door. And he prayed. Child, be healed. After he prayed, he asked me, what is the name of the child? What's in the girl name? I say it's Inwarata. I'm a living testimony. I give God the glory for keep counting me among the living today. I'm a testimony that the whole world know about through my father, late Ben Sinidahosa. I was sick about two weeks. After the sick, convulsion hold me. So I, I, I died. When I died, they kept me inside one room. So my people was crying, weeping. About two hours, a bit three hours later, my father come, my late Ben in the outside. He said, what is happening? They told him that her daughter, their daughter has lost. They said, what happened to her? He said, she was confused. So they tried the in a, ordinary native doctor tried they can raise her back to life. Said where is her now? He said she swallowed there. Said he asked my father the question. He said, Daddy, do you believe that the God I serve can raise him come back to life? My father said yes. So he said they should take him to the room. Then take him to where they, they lie me down. So carry me, they were praying with some of members. As they pray with God that answered by fire, hear their prayer. I come back to life. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That is how I'm a living soul today. And he just stretched his Bible and himself on that child and said, Inuata, I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that has empowered me to raise the dead. Now, come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 
in new water. I command you, rise up. I was just peeping. And all of a sudden, the, the child that died at about 9 o'clock sneezed. <laughs> 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 Look back to me after a year and three months in the womb. So my mother passed through many tribulations before she gave back to me. Then he said, Maybe I'm not a baby, I'm a wood, I'm this, but for God be that glory. When they gave back to me, I'm, I'm a human being. And after they gave back to me, the devil, the useless man, raised up his ugly head to take my soul away. Did you know I took to my heels? I couldn't stand it, I couldn't wait, and I ran out. With him to the mother. He said, Please give this child something to eat. And everybody was surprised. Everyone was shocked. Ah, and he just left. And when he left, I, I sat down and I was thinking, What is the thing that made this man to raise this child from the dead? There must be power superpower then i wasn't a child of god my mother used to serve um, she was a princess of olokun shango and all that and i said mm, the the power that raised this child from the dead must be a power that surpasses the power of these graving images that has no power so the father just came and we started celebrating, but he was gone. But in the night I sat and I, I started praying and I said, God, if you were the one that raised that child up, just touch me. I have been hearing messages of salvation from here and there. Even the church I, 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 I used to go then, but I just knelt down and I said, Father, let Jesus come into my heart right now. And I need to know this power that raised this child. And that was all I prayed. I didn't know how to pray salvation prayer. But I just knelt down and I said, Father, please, if you were the one that raised this child up, let come into my life and let me act and walk and believe like us. That young man that we call pastor believed, and he did this. And you know, when I finished prayers, there was an abundant joy, unspeakable joy in my spirit. And the following day, uh, we, we used to call him Brother Benson. He came and said, where is the child? We said, the child is there. And I called him to the room and I said, you know what I did last night? I didn't know. Uh, I, I don't know how to do it, but I just knelt by my bedside and I said, God, if you were the one that raised that child up, let me have a part of that power. I said, ah, you have done it. And I knelt down, he prayed, and I, and I said the, the sinner's prayer, and that was what got me into where I am now. And I'm glad. Okay, because I'm still alive, my father Benson Dalsa is still alive because I'm a living testimony. I'm glad that I, 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 I'm doing what I'm doing now because there was sign, there was wonder, there was, there, there was miracle that got into my heart. Thank God for today and my life. I have about eight children, two guests, and two boys and six guests. He was a man that did everything by faith. I have about 10 grandchildren to the glory of God. Now I understand the, the type of joy. The Bible said that the joy that no man can give, that is the joy that Jesus gives when you give your life to him. 
Inu mega tagi Jesus mega wesi. Inu mega tag. Inu mega jebe. Inu mega tagi Jesus mega wesi. Inu mega tag wesi. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Thank you for taking the time to watch this powerful video of Archbishop Benson Indaosa. Archbishop Benson Indaosa was a charismatic Pentecostal preacher. He is the founder of Church of God Mission International. 
Archbishop Benson Daosa was popularly referred to as the father of Pentecostalism in Nigeria. And I'll like you to know that he was also my spiritual father. Please do not forget to share this video to bless all the people. Let this video go viral. Remain blessed. Hello, this video is about Archbishop Bensi Idaosa, his early Christian ministry testimony. As a young Christian, I once heard my pastor say during a morning service that Christians could raise the dead in the name of the Lord Jesus. I believe it with my, all my heart. And flying around on my bicycle in those days, I went through the city of Benin in Nigeria in search of a dead person to raise to life. After five hours of hard session, I found a company where a little girl had died a few hours before. The corpse had been cleaned and prepared for burial. I walked boldly to the father of the child. The God whom I serve can bring your baby back to life. I told him, Will you permit me to pray for the child and bring her back to life? The man was startled, but he agreed. I walked into the room and up to the bed. The child was cold and dead. With strong faith in the Lord, I called on the Lord to restore the child back to life. I turned to the corpse and called it by name. Arise in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, glory to God, the corpse sneezed heavily. Alas, the child had come back to life. God is Bensi Indaosa. Now, Bensi Indaosa childhood. Bensi Indaosa was born in Benin City on September 11, 1938, to a pagan parents. He was a sickly infant who was always fainting. As a result of his constant illness, his father ordered the mother to throw him in the dustbin. When he was 18, year, 18 months old, he was left on a rubbish heap to die. He was rejected by his father, sent to work on a farm as a servant, and was denied education until he was 14 years old. His education was irregular due to the poor financial status of his parents. He later took correspondence course from Britain and United States while working in Battershoe Company. His conversion and call to ministry. His conversion was drastic and his calling supernatural. He was converted by Pastor Akpos on a football field on one Sunday afternoon while playing soccer with his teammates. Thus, young Benson, young Benson became the first Benin member of Pastor Akpos' small congregation. As a young convert, he became very zealous in winning souls and in conducting outreaches in villages around Benin City. He was called to the ministry in a night vision from the Lord. I have called you that you might take the gospel around the world in my name, preach the gospel, and I will confirm my words with signs following, said the voice from heaven. The room was filled with the presence of God as Benson fell to his knees before the Lord. Wherever you want me to go, I will go. He prayed through the night, renewing his vows to God and interceding for his people who were yet to hear the message of salvation. After his call, Benson launched into ministry, work preaching from village to village. The gospel of, the, of, of Jesus Christ with great power and anointing, more people confess Christ as their savior and more healings occur as he prayed for the sick. Expansion of his ministry and his credentials. Archbishop Benson Daosa, the Archbishop himself and the founder of Church of God Mission International Incorporated with his headquarters in Benin City, Nigeria established over 6,000 churches throughout Nigeria, Ghana before 90, 1971. Many of the ministers he supervised pastor churches of 1,000 to 4,000 people. In addition to filling the position of Archbishop of Church of God Mission, he also, 
He was also president of All Nation for Christ Bible Institute, president of Idaosa World Outreach, and president of Faith Medical Center. He had positions in numerous organizations, including the College of, Bish of Bishop of the International Communion of Christian Churches and the Ora Robert uh, University in Oklahoma. It also earned a diploma in divinity from Christ for the Nation Institute in Dallas, Texas, which he attended in 1971, a doctorate of divinity in 1981, from the World Faith College, New Orleans, and a Doctor of Law degree from Ora Robert University in March 1984. He also received another degree. He also received other degrees from the International University in Brussels, Belgium. Archbishop Benson and his wife Margaret Idaosa were blessed with four children. Idaosa Supreme Tax. So winning was in Daosa primary consign with a motto evangelism our supreme tax. He walked towards his goal of reaching the origin Nigeria, Africa, and the rest of the world with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. As a black African, he found the doors of African countries were wide open and he ministered in over 133 countries all 123 countries all over the world. Crusade played a major role in his ministry. He was involved at least one crusade per month. A record crowd of nearly one million people a night attended his Lagos crusade in April 1985. He established the Redemption Television Ministry with a potential viewing audience of 15 million people. What leading gospel minister said about Archbishop Idaosa. According to Mrs. Gordon Frada Lisser, President of Christ for the Nation Incorporated, Dallas, Texas, USA, I know of no young black in all Africa who is preaching, who is reaching millions as Benson is in crusade with hundreds of thousands in attendance in, in, a, in his weekly nationwide telecast in his Bible school, training eager student from several nations. He also conducted campaigns in Sweden, Singapore, Malaysia, Korea, Australia, and United States, where he often appeared on national religious telecast. His burden for souls, his ministry of healing and miracles, even to the raising of several dead, demonstrate he is especially core of the Lord in this end time. Dr. Ben Akosa remarked, Benson Daosa is sought after by everyone in the state, from government officials to beggars. When they pose questions and explain their problem to this man, they receive instantaneous miracle solution, just as the people did in Bible days with God's prophet. The people got miraculous answer from his, from this mighty leader of God's people, said Daniel Oris. Benin City respect and salute this great man of God even at his death. I have been with him on visit to many officials, to the governor, to the powerful Benin tribal kings. He moved with God and his people knows it. His great miracle cathedral, his headquarters, sit over 10,000 in 1981. His Bible school attract upper-class people from different African nations and also come from Maurice, India, uh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Singapore, Philippines, Hong Kong, Japan, Korea, the Middle East, Europe, and other nations of the world. A truly international Bible training center of dynamic faith. People know that Bishop Idaosa preached what he practiced. Dr. Idaosa evangelistic ministry has reached nations around the world. He was the first Af black African evangelist to shake Australia in a massive crusade that got national attention. His seminar have affected Christians and church leaders in many countries. I sincerely salute this man, 
because he practiced among his own people what he preached to the world. Bensi Indaosa was a man who believed God's promises and that God's miracle provision applies to Africans as well as to Americans. He believed that African has a part in God's work and African will reap God's blessing. Evangelist T. S. Bond from Tulsa, Oklahoma remarked, Many who followed Idaosa's teaching have been saved from poverty and have learned to plant out of their des have learned how to plant out of their desperate need and to look to God as their divine source, thereby becoming prosperous Christians in their own land. Idaosa rose from the rank of an ordinary man to a world leader's leadership as a pastor, a builder, a counselor, a prophet, a teacher, uh, an apostle, an evangelist, a man of godly wisdom and of Christ-like compassion whose ministry has blessed million, millions the world over. Idaosa was the greatest African ambassador of the apostolic Christian faith to the world. The secret of his success. Idaosa operated in faith. He had a robust faith. He believed and trusted God with a childlike faith. He once said that living a daily life of absolute faith in God is the only secret to great success. He believed God for everything. All things are possible to him that believes. He spent quality times in prayer and in the study of God's word. He said that if someone spent time studying the Bible and acting on it, people will come looking for that person for life solutions. He also, also spent time studying the works and the lives of other successful people both in the gospel ministry and other faith of human endeavors and he applied the principles he learned he learned from these successful people to his life and ministry he was very energetic hard-working one of the ministers who served under him said that he had never seen a man who worked as hard as Archbishop Benson Daosa he was committed and consistent and he had confidence in himself he was very humble and full of godly wisdom have bishop bensi idaosa was said to be the leader of over seven million jesus people worldwide before he went to be with the lord in february 1998. now i'm going to talk about his early ministry again as a youth, he got converted to Christianity by a certain pastor at Paul and joined the flagging congregation as one of the first members. He was very active and converted many to Christianity. After experiencing a revelation from God, calling him into ministry, he began to conduct outreaches from village to village before establishing his church in a store in Benin City. Archbishop Bensi Idaosa was well known for many notable quotable quotes, including, My God is not a poor God. Your attitude determines your, your attitude determines your attitude. It is more risky not to take risk. I am a possibilitarian. A big head without a big brain is a big load to the neck. If your faith says yes, God cannot say no. Among others, many of these messages on faith, miracle, and prosperity remain a classic among Pentecostal. He had strong links with international gospel ministers like Billy Graham, T.L. Bond, Kenneth Hagin, Penny Inn, Ryan Bonke, Maurice Cerullo, Ora Robert, amongst others, and took the gospel to 145 nations in his lifetime. At the time of his death in 1998, he had preached to more white than any black man and to more black than any white man. His desire to meet the need of the total man led him to establish several other arms of the ministry apart from the church. They include Faith, Metaplex, All Nation for Christ Bible Institute, Word of Faith, Group of School, 
Benson Indaosa University, which is currently under leadership of a son, Reverend E. F. B. Uh, Idaosa. His wife, Margaret uh, Idaosa, is the current Archbishop of the Church. It was used by God to perform many miracles, including healing the blinds, raising up 28 people from the dead at different times in his ministry. You must understand this powerful man of God that God used to affect the nation of the world. And I'm glad and privileged that he was my father in the Lord. I am honored to be a part of his anointing, a part of his, of his ministry. I want to ask you, please make sure you share these videos, this video, this particular video to bless all the people and make sure you have enough time to visit Anointed Tube, support Anointed Tube and let people all over the world around you, your village, your town, your city, your colleagues, your family, your friends, all your contact get to know about Anointed Tube. So thank you for taking the time to listen to this or, or watch this video. I believe that um, your life can never remain the same because God's servant was such a powerful, powerful, humble, great man of God that God used before he was called to be with him. I, and I'll say it again, I am grateful and I'm privileged to be a son to Archbishop Bensi in the house. The Lord bless you.